jury is deliberating in the murder trial in which a man is accused of shooting and killing a man in 2016 in East Chattanooga. Adrian Nixon is charged with first degree murder in the shooting death of Jeremy Clark. Elise Wick is live at the courthouse with the latest Elise. Cindy and David, the state rested their case yesterday and this morning the defense asked for a mistrial, but Don Poole, Judge Poole, denied that request and he said there is ample evidence the jury could find Nixon guilty and the motion for acquittal was denied. The trial started with the seated jury at 1030 this morning. The defense called their first witness to the stand, an expert private forensic scientist. He says after reviewing the evidence, he doesn't believe the driver of the white Dodge Challenger could be the person who shot Jeremy Clark. And now that you've, you've looked at the information, have you come to an opinion on the theory of a seated driver from the Dodge Challenger being the shooter in this case? It's usually very obvious to a trained medical examiner when he sees this. And this indicates that, you know, the, the shot was fired at very close range. So when I didn't see that, that was another reason not to think that the driver uh, would, have, would have been the one that shot him. Uh, I also considered the fact that all the cartridge cases that were found at the scene were located outside the car. So if you discharge a pistol in a car, the cartridge cases are more likely going to remain in the car. The defendant said that someone pointed a gun through his car. Well, even if he said that, the physical evidence at the scene does not support that. But he was there, right? Well, yes, I guess he was. The defendant was there, right? But he was obviously mistaken. <clears throat> there was no way the gun could have been inside the car and been discharged because the cartridge cases would have been in the car. Yesterday, a recorded interview was shown to the jury of Adrian Nixon explaining the events that happened that July night. Nixon repeated someone reached into his car and shot through the other side. The closing statements finished up around 4.30 this afternoon, and the jury is deliberating now. We will keep you updated. Reporting live at the Hamilton County Courthouse, Elise Zwick, Local 3 News.